Hi guys, my name is Shanae and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. So today we're going to do some makeup, we're going to chill out together, maybe chat a little bit and we're going to do some cool toned makeup today. So at the moment in Melbourne where I'm from it is really cold, raining, so this makeup look is going to be perfect. I don't know how dramatic I'm going to go today. I always say that I'm going to do something really simple and then it ends up being like a really dramatic smoky eye. So I feel like that might happen but if it happens we're just going to do it. So for palettes today I think I might use the burgundy bar but I think I might use another palette as well. I kind of want to use some of these matte shades. I want to use this kind of taupey, cool tone brown shade. I've also got this City Mini palette. This one's in Chill Brunch Neutrals. And there's kind of like a matte mauve kind of purple in here. So I think I might mix that into my transition color as well, just to make it a little bit um, more mauve and cool. Wow, I've got really tired eyes today and I don't really feel tired. I feel like they're just a bit puffy. For my eye base today, I'm going to use my Master Conceal Concealer and this one's in the color 10 Fair. So now I'm going to grab my sponge, which is heavily stained every time I wash it. It just doesn't look like it gets clean. So I think it's time to buy a new one. But I'm going to use this to just blend out that concealer so it's nice and smooth. I always put off buying new sponges, but I just need to do it. I've just been really lazy. So sometimes I do set my eye base, sometimes I don't. I guess it kind of depends how I feel. I think I want to set this down like just really lightly today. I'm going to take my Fit Me powder in the color 110 Porcelain. I'm only going to take a tiny amount and I'm going to focus this more like at the brow bone. I just want the shadow to blend up like really nice and smooth once I apply it. So for my crease, I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm just going to blend it through. I would like to know, what is your favorite season? I actually think mine is winter and autumn because I really like colder weather. A lot of people just enjoy, I guess, warm weather, but I get over it. I feel like cold weather, you just get to be cozy and like layer clothes. And I think it's because of my homebody. I love to kind of just sit on the couch with a blanket, watch a movie, popcorn, hot chocolate, whatever. But I actually do have like a birthday party this weekend. And that's when I don't like the cold weather because I want to look nice, but I don't want to be freezing. And you know, we're all going to be like wearing dresses and it's just going to be so cold. Old, so I don't know I just like the cold weather for like sitting at home or even filming like cold weather is the best to film in like right now I'm so comfortable inside I'm warm I'm relaxed I think that color is pretty blended so now I'm going to take my city mini palette and I'm going to mix a little bit of this kind of like mauve purple shade in the crease with that transition I haven't done kind of like a mauve eye in a while I'm also going to bring that shadow down on the lower lash line. I'll probably have to fix it up later anyway, because once I put concealer, it can kind of like ruin the blend, but I just kind of want to put it down. Kind of looks like I've been punched in the eye, but you know, it's a look, but it'll look fine once it's finished, I promise. So next shade we're going to take is this deep brown. And I'm just going to start kind of deepening up the outer corner. I'm thinking about doing the inner corner, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Because I've got smaller eyes, I try to avoid doing too much um, darkness like in here. And that's why I usually like highlight it because it just makes the eyes look a little bit bigger. Going back in with this palette, I'm going to take this kind of silvery taupe color. And this is going to be my lid color. I think I'm actually in love <laughs> with this eye look. I know it's not done, but I love the colors. For eyeliner today, I don't think I'm going to do a wing or anything, but I do have a product here I haven't tried before. Like I've tried the tattoo liner, but this one is a different color that I've never tried. So this liner is a gel pencil and it's in the color Rich Amethyst. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
I'm going to do my waterline. Wow, this is creamy and it's the most beautiful like purple color. I'm gonna really smudge this out. And I'm also going to tight line. Ow. I might just smudge this a little bit on the lash line. I am going to use mascara now. I'm going to use the Falsies mascara and I'm just going to quickly give my lashes a bit of a curl. So I did want to talk to you guys about like cool tones and warm tones because I know some people can get a little bit confused like which one is which and like I used to as well, especially like with foundation. I had no idea. Um, so like obviously warm tones, like if I'm doing a warm tone eyeshadow look, typically it's going to be like really warm browns with like a really orange, red, kind of yellowy undertone. Yellows can kind of go cool or warm. It just kind of depends what tone they are but if it's like more on the orange side red maybe more of like um a rusty pink that's kind of all warms and cools are like your greys your purples like this mauvey color that i've got on at the moment and also like your blues and greens a cool tone as well. I know majority of people really like, I guess, warm tones for eyeshadow. I think that's just kind of like a trend thing, but I think cool tones can look absolutely gorgeous on the eyes, also depending what color your eyes are. I'm pretty lucky because I do have like quite light eyes. My eyes kind of change from blue to gray to green. I can never pick my eye color. Me wearing warm tones, they really stand out, but also as you can tell, wearing cool tones, they still stand out heaps. If you're someone who has brown eyes, I was going to say brunette eyes. If you've got brown eyes, these shades, like these mauvey purples, are just going to make your eyes pop. Even like green eyes. Oh my god. I just think anyone can pull any color off. It just depends what your favorite is. So I did put on some lashes because I couldn't help myself. I just feel like they complete the look. And now I'm going to use my Superstay primer for my face. I'm not going to use too much. I just want to focus this like around my nose and kind of like the cheek area. For my foundation today, I'm going to kind of make a foundation cocktail, I guess. I'm going to mix my um, Superstay foundation in the color Soft Beige. And I'm also going to mix my Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. And this one's in the color True Beige. This one's got a little bit of a warmer tone to it, which I need because I've got fake tan on. And this one is kind of neutral-ish, I'm not sure, but I've mixed the two. I'm going to hope that this gives me the perfect shade that I need. I'm just gonna check it. I think it's going to be okay. I like mixing these two together because the Superstay one is a little bit like more matte and dry and then the Dream Satin Liquid is more dewy, I guess. So I kind of get the nice in between when I mix them and it's handy using the Superstay because I still get that like lasting power of that foundation. I'm just going to start buffing that in with a foundation brush. And for my concealer, I'm just using my Master Conceal. And now I'm just going to blend it out with my sponge. I'm feeling much more flawless already and I feel like my eyes don't look as dark now because I've concealed everything. Now I'm going to go in with powder. I'm going to use my Fit Me Loose Powder. This one's in the color Fair Light. And I'm just going to bake under here. I'm not going to be pulling the most attractive faces. I'm going to do that on the sides of my nose as well. And just here because I feel like I get oily here too. I'm just going to dust all this excess powder off. So now I'm going to bring a bit of shape back to the face. I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Contour Palette. And just taking a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to work this around my face. I'm also going to use the blush out of this palette. So 
So even though the weather is colder and it's gloomy, it doesn't mean we can't use highlighter. So I'm going to use my Master Chrome highlighter and this one's in the color Rose Gold. There's always time for a glow, no matter what the season. I'm just going to do some final touches now. I'm going to grab this kind of shimmery white shade and I want to put this on my tear duct area to just really brighten up that eye. And also the brow bone. I haven't done my brows yet. I'll quickly do them in a second. And also mascara on my lower lashes. I'm just going to quickly do my brows. I'm not going to explain too much of what I'm doing. I just brush them down and I'm just going to quickly fill them in. I'm just using the Brow Precise Pencil. I believe it's in the color Soft Brown. So I guess we've only got one thing left to do and that is to put on a lip product. I've got this Superstay Matte Ink Lip. This one's in the color Seductress. I thought it'd go well with the eyes. I didn't want to do like a really cool tone lip. Um, I feel like for myself it can really wash me out when I've got like cool tone eyes and like a purpley cool tone lip or like a grayish kind of lip. I just feel like it kind of makes me look a little bit sickly. But that's just personal preference. If you want to go for something like that, you know, go for it. That's why I picked this one because it's kind of got that warm tone to it. I feel like it just really balances it all out for me. Okay, guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to the Maybelline channel, and also hit the bell button so you guys are notified every time we upload new videos here. And I'm sure I'll see you guys really soon in my next one.